to either obey or to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah 13, chapter number 95, verse number 4. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are funny Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction guys, I want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. Really, really sound with you, man. Thank you so much. You're about to get to 10,000 subscribers. And yeah, that's a really good thing. Anyway. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and this one right there was suggested by a lot of people and they said that we should go react to why are human beings a special creation of Allah. This is by Dr. Zakir Naik, the famous Dr. Zakir Naik. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. People really often ask this question. Do you understand? God has created it. human beings. Oh, what but what is so special about the human beings? Why is it here? Human beings are a unique creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the best creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The human beings and the jinns are the only creation who have a freedom of their own. All the other creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they have submitted the will to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they do not have any free will. They obey Allah 100 percent. They have no choice. But the human beings and the jinns, they have option to either obey or to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah 13, chapter number 95, verse number 4, Verily, we have created the human beings in the best of molds. For verily, we have created the human beings in the best of molds. Human being is the best creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Besides being created in the best of molds, we are unique. We have a choice of either obeying or disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After a free will has been given to you, and if you obey the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are superior to the angels. Because the angels, they have no free will, they obey Almighty God without a free will. So if after a free will has been given to you, and if you obey and submit your will to Almighty God, you are superior to the angels. You know what we say? Oh, this man is an angel. There are two means. One is maybe it's an insult. Because you will be a superior to angels. But it means that you are a human being after free will is given to you, but you are obeying the laws of God like an angel. So it makes you superior. A human being who is obeying like the angel. So then it makes you superior. But if you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you go against his commandments, then you become the brother of the devil and you become a saint. So human beings have a choice to either obey the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to become superior than the angels or to disobey him and become like the saint. The choice is yours. And when we analyze that why has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why has he created us? It is because we are the best of creation. We have an option of either obeying him or we have the option of disobeying him. If you obey him, you become superior than the angels. If you disobey him, you become like the same. Wow, wow, such an amazing um, speech, such an amazing, uh, such an amazing speech, such, such an amazing message right here with Dr. Zaki Naik, why are human beings a special creature to Allah? Yeah, I mean, um, I don't want, like, I'm not disagreeing with 
Dr. Zakir Naik. I mean, human beings are special creatures. I mean, we have the free will. Like, we can decide what we want to do. We can decide to obey Allah. We can decide not to obey Allah. But according to what he said, was that if you do if you do obey Allah, then you become superior than the angels. But if you don't obey Allah, then you become the Satan or something like that. I didn't know that we are superior than the angels or something. Uh, it's because, ah, okay, angels are our, like, they got like our guidance or something so that means if somebody is your no if somebody is your guiding angel that means that you're really special or something like i don't know just let me know in the comment section below like um angels guide us yes does that mean that we are superior than them that that does that mean that we are um more special than the angels or something like that but there must be a context there if you obey Allah if you oh, if you obey Allah that means that you'll be superior than the angels but anyway such an amazing message right here and um, just 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 a thought just a thought since uh, we are the special creatures of Allah that means other 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 living creatures are not special yeah but I mean, this is where I'm, I'm, I'm trying to differ with what he is saying. I'm just agreeing to disagreeing here because I don't feel like... Um, I think Allah has has no um, biasness or something like that. I, I think all the creatures are special to Allah. I, I think Allah is a merciful, um, a merciful God. You get it? I don't think he wants to like... Uh, separate special this is a special creature this is not a special creature I don't know but the way Dr. Zakinaik has explained it I mean it makes sense but for me I'm thinking that every living thing in this world is special to, to, to Allah I mean every living being has its own purpose like these uh, you know animals who are out there they have a reason as to why they're there the plants there are reasons to have plants are there. Without plants, probably we'll never even survive. Without certain animals, we'll never ever, you know, be able to to survive to some extent. You know, just let me know in the comment section. Do you think that um, we human beings are special creatures compared to other living things? You get it, or other living beings, or something like that? Just let me know in the comment section below. I agree to disagree with Dr. Zaki Naik. But he explains it in a nice way. I just want you guys to let me know what do you think. What do you think? Maybe somebody out there has his or her own, um, you know, explanation on how he or she thinks about the whole, the whole context right here. Anyway, if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in the comment section, tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction and what you feel about Dr. Zaki Naik on why a human being is a special creature of Allah. Just let me know in the comment section below. If you have any kind of point that you feel like is going to make people learn and make people understand, make people internalize, just put it down there. And I want you guys to explain uh, I want your thoughts. Just let me know in the comment section. Do you think that we are special than other beings out there? Just let me know in the comment section below. And also the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better, better content. And last but not the least, we have, a, we have another YouTube channel that is called Finding Jesse 2.0. The link is going to be on the comment section below. We're going to pin it. Just make sure to go and click that link and subscribe to the channel. We are trying to restructure, we are trying to, you know, put in content. Um, make sure to just subscribe. And thank you so much, guys, for being here till this end. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.